Oh, and I know you're all starting to relax now, but I should preface if you hear any background noise, it's probably my dogs and the online groceries that are going to show up and be dropped off at my door. <laughs> so try to drown out the sound if you hear anything. <laughs> All right, we'll get started. Just find a comfortable seat. I'm gonna hang out here with you guys a little closer to start with. But once you're in your comfortable seat, just close down the eyes, rest your hands either on the knees or in your lap, whatever feels comfortable for you. I'm just gonna to start today by taking a couple of deep breaths, so a few um, cleansing breaths. We're going to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just really get rid of some of the tension, the tightness, the stress that we're probably all holding. So in your own time, start to breathe in through the nose and then out through the mouth. Let's take two more breaths like this in through the nose and out through the mouth. Really let it go with the exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. And then if it's comfortable, just breathing in and out through the nose. If you need a few extra, Deep breaths, feel free to take them. And then just start to notice how the breath feels, where you can feel it in the body. Maybe it's feeling a little shallow today, more in the chest or heart area. Maybe today you feel a bit more at ease and you can already feel the breath traveling deeper toward the belly. We're not trying to change the breath to force it to be something it's not, just observe the breath for now. In and out of the body. See if you can soften through the shoulders a little, through the neck, the muscles and the face. Maybe even noticing if you're carrying any tension in the body. You might be feeling a little bit of tightness in the shoulders. Maybe you're feeling the stress at the moment in the spine, in the way you hold muscles in the face. Again, not judging, not showing up with any expectations of yourself, just observing, just being present here. And what this does, this grounding, this arrival in the present moment, when we pay attention to the breath, we pay attention to our bodies, it starts to help us get out of our heads where we tend to jump from one thought to the next, to the next. We're never really present, we're never really still in this moment. And so all I invite you to do tonight in this practice is just notice when the mind starts to run off with thoughts about your day, with things that you have to do tonight or tomorrow. 
remembering not to judge or criticize yourself when the mind does wander off, because it will. But when you do notice the different thoughts coming in, the distractions, the interruptions, just take a moment, come back to the breath, come back to the physical sensations in the body. And hopefully we can bring a bit of softness, peace into the physical body through practice tonight. Just taking a few more breaths. Noticing if the breath has become a little deeper or slower since we started. Three more breaths in your own time, nice and slow. At the end of your third breath, feel free to keep the eyes closed if that's comfortable. We're just gonna start to make little circles with our neck or with our head. And just very gently with the neck, start to drop the chin and make a circle downwards toward the chest. And then circling the head back behind the shoulders. Making one big circle and just making this circular motion a few rounds in one direction. And then next round when your chin is near the chest, we'll reverse the direction, take it back in the other way. You might notice certain spots that feel a bit tighter in the neck or the shoulders. Just paying attention, one more circle with the neck. And then gently coming back to neutral, softening the gaze open and coming to a seat. We're gonna breathe in, lift the arms up. And then exhale, twist to your right side. So take left hand to the right knee and the right hand behind you. Start to ring out the spine and sit nice and tall as we twist out the spine. Two more breaths here. Yeah. And take one more breath here. Keeping your left hand on the right knee, inhale, lift the right arm up. And then keep that left hand where it is, exhale, lean to your left side. So you're hinging off that right knee and really opening the right side of the body. Take one more breath, leaning to that left side. Inhale, bring the left hand to the right knee, uh, right hand, left knee. <laughs> so you've got opposite hands on knees. Start to take a breath in, lift the heart a little. And then exhale, fold it forward. If your hands don't reach the knees, that's fine. Just that opposite direction that you're creating. Soften the neck and the head forward. One more breath here. Yeah. Inhale, start to lift the chest, but keep the arms crossed. And as you come up, we're going to come into our eagle arms or Garuda. So you're going to lift fingertips up. And if you can, start to wrap the hands so the fingers or the palms connect. 
And if you don't, and your arms are apart, that's fine. Just lift the elbows away from the chest. Stay grounded through the sit bones, stretching out behind the shoulders. Two more breaths. One more breath here. Nice, inhale, unravel the arms and sweep them up overhead. Exhale, twisting to your left side now. Right hand to the left knee, left hand behind you. Using every breath in, just a little, little taller. Every breath out, twisting a little more if you can. Two more breaths here. One more breath. Keep the right hand on that left knee and inhale the left arm high. Exhale, leaning to the right. Like you're hinging off that left knee, stretching out the left side body. One more breath here. Yeah. Inhale, drop that left hand to the right knee. And then exhale, start to fold forward. Really soften the spine, the neck. Allow the upper body to be heavy. Take one more breath here. Yeah. Inhale, start to sit up, but keep the arms crossed. Lift the fingertips up and then keep wrapping the arms so the palms come together if you can. Even if you just catch part of the thumb. Really connect in with both the elbows. Lift the elbows away from the chest, away from the earth. Two more breaths here. One more breath. Inhale, unravel the arms, sweep them up overhead. And exhale, hands to heart. I'm just coming over to hands and knees now. So folding over on your mat, walking into the center of your mat. I'm really bringing hands right underneath the shoulders, knees straight under the hips. Nice, firm tabletop. Just starting to flow through a few cat cows here. So as you inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest through the arms. And then exhale, so round the spine, bring chin to chest. Inhale through to your cow, lift the heart forward. Exhale, rounding through the spine. Starting to move with your own breath now. Your breath might move faster or slower than mine, so just notice the breath, move the body with it, nice big movements through the spine. Let's take two more rounds of your cat cow. If you need to move through the hips at all or through the head, feel free. One more round. And then inhale back to your neutral spine. Keep the hands nice and firm. And start to shift some weight into your left knee. We're gonna inhale, extend the right leg back behind us. Exhale, hold it here like you're pressing into a wall with that right foot. One more breath. And just drop those right toes straight down onto the mat. And just press into the balls of the foot, rock forward and back, stretching out through the right calf muscle, the ankle, arch of the foot. And 
Let's take one more breath here. Nice. And then start to spin the left foot out to the side of your mat and ground through the right foot sideways on the mat. Then you're gonna lift your right arm straight up. So it's kind of like you're in a side plank but with that left knee down. So it's a little easier. Right fingers reach straight up to the ceiling, strong through the body. Take one more full breath here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, coming all the way up to that left knee, take the arms wide. And then exhale, lean to your right side, reach the left arm up and over. One breath here, inhale. Exhale. Slowly inhale, come back up and then cartwheel the hands back down onto the mat and come back into your tabletop on all fours. Just take a round of cat cow to reset, breathing in to drop the belly and lift the heart. And breathing out to round the spine. Coming back to your neutral spine. And shifting weight into your right knee, we'll inhale, extend the left leg back. Pushing out through the left heel, flex the toes downward. One more breath. Inhale, drop the left toes down to the mat. And just rock forward and back as you press into the left toes. Stretch out the left calf muscle. Maybe one side of the body is a little tighter than the other. Again, just paying attention to where you're at. All the different sensations in the body. And then start to find stillness. We'll swing that right foot out to the side, the right side. Ground sideways to the left foot. And then reach straight up at the left arm. Firm through the torso, reach through the left fingertips. One more breath here. Inhale, coming all the way up to that right knee, arms wide. Exhale, leaning to your left side, reach right fingers over. One full breath in. Reach the fingers, exhale. Inhale, coming back up. And then slowly exhale, cartwheel the hands back down, back into your tabletop, one round of cat-cow in your own time. Coming back to neutral spine, step the hands, about a handprint forward, tuck the toes underneath, and start to lift up into a downward facing dog. Just take a couple of moments to pedal out the heels through the right, the left side. And then from here, start to look forward and walk the feet up towards the top of the mat. And that hip distance apart, we'll come into our ragdoll. So catch your opposite elbows, nice bend in the knees. And then relax the head, the neck in between the arms. It feels good. Give it a little shake or a nod to loosen through the neck. And if you like, you can sway a little side to side. Just for one more breath. Release the arms back down, slowly start to roll all the way up to standing, stacking the spine one vertebrae at a time. 
Letting the head roll up last, just taking a couple of shoulder rolls backwards. Making sure the feet are nice and firm in the ground, still hip distance apart. So we're gonna bring our arms up overhead. And then same as our ragdoll, catch your opposite elbows. As you take a breath in, lift up a little taller. And then as you exhale, we're gonna to start to fold forward, but like in a circle shape. So to the right first, and then all the way down into your forward fold. Breathe in, lifting up, completing the circle all the way up. And then exhale again, the same shape, the same circle, same direction. Breathing in to come back up. And then exhale down. Take one more full circle with the upper body. And then when you get back into your forward fold, we're reversing the direction. So inhale to come up. Taking the circle in the opposite way, exhale back down. Two more in your own time. And letting the body flow one more. Finishing in your forward fold, release the arms down. And just take a full breath in. Put a full breath out. Inhale to a half lift, flat back, hands to shins. Exhale, fold forward. Plant the hands, inhale, step back into a high plank. And then drop the knees down onto the mat. Exhale, come all the way down to the belly. Tend your fingertips up, out to the sides, so up on the fingers. We're gonna roll up as you breathe in, so lift the chest, inhale. Exhale, roll back down. Imagine you're like a wave, inhale, rolling up. Exhale, rolling back down. Lighten the fingertips, engage the back. One more, inhale, lift up. And exhale, back down. Beautiful, bring the hands beside the ribs and inhale, press back up to your knees. Tuck the toes underneath and exhale, lift back up into your downward dog. One breath here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, drop the knees down onto the mat. Bring the big toes together, knees wide. Exhale, back into your child's pose. And just soften the forehead down to the ground, to a block or to your hands if you need some support. Let the upper body soften down. Let the hips draw back towards the heels. And take one more breath here. Slowly inhale back up to your hands and knees. Knees back under the hips, tuck the toes. Exhale, lifting up, downward dog. Straightening the legs if you can. One breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, walk or step up to the top of the mat. And then exhale, folding down. Inhale, half lift, nice flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms overhead. Gazing up to the thumbs. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, folding it forward. Soften the knees. Inhale, half lift. Stretch out the spine. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, step the right foot all the way back on the mat. Nice long lunge shape. Exhale, drop the knee down. Inhale, breathe in, lift the arms up. Exhale, bend into that front knee. Two more breaths here. Keep the arms strong, the belly drawn in. One more breath in and out. Inhale, bring the hands back down beside the foot. And then exhale, tuck the right toes on the lift the right knee up. Inhale, step back into your plank. More advanced yogis can keep the knees lifted, otherwise drop the knees and exhale, bend the elbows to the belly. As you inhale, lift up into your cobra, so push the hands into the ground, lift the heart. Exhale, back to the knees, tuck the toes, and lift up into your downward dog. Take a breath in, and a breath out. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, the foot to the buttocks, open the hip. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, step it in between the hands. Doesn't make it all the way. Just hop it up forward. Drop the back knee down. Same again, inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale to hold. Notice if the lower back arches, if the ribs flare out, see if you can draw it back in. Might mean you don't sink as low in the knee, but you'll look after your lower back a little more. Two more breaths here. Imagine tilting the hips forward. One more. Beautiful, inhale, bring the hands beside the foot. Exhale, tuck the left toes under, lift the left knee. Inhale, step forward into your half lift. Exhale, fall back down. Inhale, rising up, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to half lift. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, step the left foot back all the way. And exhale, drop the knee down. Engage the belly. Inhale, lift the arms up. This time, exhale, catch the opposite elbows. And start to lean back with the upper body a little. Keep the ribs in. Bend the front knee. Nice. Two more breaths. Try and drop the shoulders away from the ears. One more. Inhale, release the arms up. Exhale, frame the foot. Tuck the left toes under, lift the left knee. Inhale, back to plank. Option to stay up here or to drop the knees. Exhale, bend the elbows. Halfway or all the way to the belly. Inhale, lift up to your cobra or your up dog. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, back to the knees. Tuck the toes. Straighten the legs back to down dog. One breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, the foot to the opposite buttocks. Open that hip. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step it between the hands. Hop it forward if you need, and then drop that back knee down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, catch opposite elbows. 
And as you're holding the elbows, feel like you're pulling the elbows apart. Draw the ribs in. How's the breath going? One more breath here. Nice. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, frame the foot. Tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee. Inhale, step forward, half lift. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, rising up, arms overhead. And exhale, hands to heart. Just taking a full breath here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Keep the weight forward in the feet. Nice, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, step your right foot all the way back on the mat. And then exhale, drop the knee down. Now, if you want to, you can keep the back knee lifted. If you're feeling super energetic, you want to stay in a higher lunge, feel free. Otherwise, inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. So opening to your left knee. Inhale, circle that left arm back and through, lifting both arms up. Exhale, open it out to that left side again. Right arm forward, left arm back. One more, inhale, circle the arms overhead. Exhale, twist it out. Nice, inhale, back to center, lift both arms up. Exhale, frame the foot. If you're not already, tuck the right toes under here, lift the right knee up. And then we're gonna spin the right foot sideways on the mat. As you inhale, we're gonna windmill the arms up into your warrior two pose. So your arms will be wide, back foot is sideways, left knee is bending forward. Take a full breath here, inhale. And then exhale. Nice, good bend in that front knee. As you inhale, straighten the left knee, lift the arms up. Exhale, bend back into your worry. Two arms come wide. Two more. Inhale, straighten the leg, lift the arms. Exhale, bend back to warrior two. One more. Inhale, straighten and lift. And exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten that left knee. And turn the toes sideways, so you're facing sideways on your mat. Draw the grocery drop off. <laughs> Exhale, fold forward. Straight down the middle of the legs. If your hands can reach the ground, see if you can walk them a little closer in between the feet. If your hamstrings aren't cooperating today, feel free to bring in a block or any other prop you've got handy just to help Bring you towards the ground. See if you can use this moment here to check in with the breath. Notice how the legs are feeling, how the feet are feeling, how the shoulders are feeling. The mind's wandered, bring it back to the body. Back to the breath for one more. And then inhale up to a half lift. Nice flat back. Exhale, fall back down. Inhale, coming all the way up. Arms come out wide. And then spin the left toes forward again. Exhale, bend into your warrior two. 
Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse the warrior, lean back. And exhale, cartwheel the hands down, frame the front foot. We'll inhale, step forward into your half lift. And exhale, fall back down. Inhale, rise up, arms overhead. Exhale, the hands to heart. Let's take a full breath here, inhale. With the thumbs at the heart space, exhale. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Nice and soft bend through the knees. Inhale, half lift. Looking off to the lower back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, step the left foot all the way back. Regular it out into that lunge. Option to stay lifted or just drop that left knee down. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. We're twisting to that bent knee. Inhale, circle the right arm forward and up. And same again, exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Follow the breath. One more, inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, twist it out to that right side. Inhale, back to center, lift both arms up. Exhale, frame the front foot. Inhale, tuck the left toes under, lift the left knee. And exhale, spin the foot sideways on the mat. So it's parallel with the back edge of the mat. Inhale, windmill the arms up into your warrior two. And then get nice and deep in that front knee if you can. Helps if you bring a bit more weight into the heel rather than the toes. Activate the hamstring. One breath here. Keep breathing. Inhale, straighten the front leg with the arms. Exhale, bend back to warrior two. Inhale, straighten and lift. Exhale, bend. See if you can match breath to movement. One more, inhale. And exhale. Nice, inhale, straighten the front leg. Spin the toes sideways, exhale, fold straight down the center. And this time, spin the fingertips to face one another. So they're underneath your shoulders. And then inhale, take the right arm high. Twist it out to the side. Exhale, hold here. One more big breath in. And exhale to lower that right hand back to the mat. Opposite side, inhale, left arm high. Holding it here, let the breath out. Big breath in. And exhale it back down. Inhale to your half lift. Exhale all the way down. Inhale, coming all the way up, arms out wide. Spin the right toes back to the front. Exhale into your warrior two. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, frame the front foot. This time we're gonna plant the hands and inhale, step back into a plank. Option to stay lifted or to drop your knees. Exhale, lower to the ground, bend the elbows. Inhale, lift the heart up into cobra, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, back to the knees. Tuck the toes, lift up, downward dog. Take a full breath in and back out. And then inhale, drop the knees down to the mat. 
Bring big toes together, knees wide. Exhale it back into your child's pose, back into a rest pose. Let the forehead connect with the ground. And try and find the breath in the body. Try and slow the mind just for a moment. Taking two more breaths here. One more full breath. Inhale, walk the hands out to the right hand side. Stretch the right fingertips away. You can let the right ribs kind of drape the knee. As you stretch the fingers out. Draw the hips back towards the heels, really stretch the left side body. Three more breaths here. Two. One more breath. Inhale, walk the hand back through center. Over to the left hand side as you exhale. Left ribs can drape the left knee slightly. Stretch the fingertips out, draw the hips back, open that right side body. Three breaths, yeah. Two. One more breath. Inhale, walk the hands back to center. And then exhale, soften here, straight down the midline. Inhale, walk the hands back towards you, back towards the heels, the knees. Nothing fancy here. We're just going to swing the legs out to one side, come over to a seat. You might like to move forward a little so you're in the center of your mat. I'm just going to bring the left foot to the right inner thigh. If you have a strap at home that you want to use around your foot, feel free. Otherwise, we're just going to inhale, lift the arms up. And then exhale, fold forward over that right leg. You might rest the hands on the calf muscles, the foot, if you've got the range. Maybe you just rest the palms facing up so that you're not pulling on anything. You're just resting here in this forward fold. Let's take two more breaths here. Starting to slow the breath, the heart rate. One more breath. And inhale, start to lift back up. Exhale, take your left hand behind you on the ground, fingertips facing away from you. As you inhale, we're going to push the hips up, sweep the right arm overhead, and ground through that right foot. Stretch out the right side body, breathe in here. Exhale, back down to the ground. Other side, stretch your left leg out, right foot to the left in the thigh. Switch the legs up, inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, fold it forward. Catching anywhere on the leg, the foot, so just resting the palms facing up. Try and soften through the belly and the heart. Taking two more breaths here. Yeah. One more breath here. Yeah. Two. 
Inhale, lifting the chest back up. As you exhale, plant that right hand back down behind you. Ready to inhale, sweep that left arm up and push the hips skyward. Stretch out the left side body, breathe in here. Exhale to lower back down. Bringing both legs out in front now for our Paschimottanasana or our forward fold. Now, instead of starting with the legs straight and then curling the spine, start with a little bend in the knees so you can connect the torso to the thighs. And then if you can, even if you need to keep that bend in the knees, try and keep the torso connected because that means you've got a nice long spinal shape. So start wherever you're comfortable, but try and keep Belly connected to thighs. You might be able to reach the feet or take peace fingers around the big toes. And then see about sliding those heels a little further out or staying exactly where you are. And the idea is just to soften forward without damaging or harming the lower back. It's keeping space through the body rather than closing the body off. Just taking two more breaths here, wherever you are, whatever feels good. One more breath. Releasing the hands, rolling back up to your seat. And then coming all the way down onto your back. When you get to your back, just plant both feet on the ground, about hip distance apart. And then we'll cross the right ankle over the left knee into your reclined pigeon, your figure four shape. We'll interlace the hands behind the left thigh. If that feels good, maybe left foot on the ground, right knee pressing away is fine. And that's okay too. Just do what you need to get a bit of a stretch through the body without causing any discomfort. Keep energizing that right knee away from you as you draw the left knee in. One more breath here. And then release that left foot to the ground. Keep crossing that right leg all the way over the left, like you would if you were sitting in a chair. And then catch your ankles with your hands if you can. And start to draw the knees towards the chest, the ankles towards you. You should feel it a little on the outside of your Right glute, right thigh. In the hips. I'm just taking one more breath here. And then from here, take your arms out wide into a T shape. And if you need to, you can bring your toes back to the ground and shuffle the hips a little. I invite you to take a spinal twist here where both of the legs all wrapped up, lean over to the left side. So if this is uncomfortable for you, stack your knees, standard spinal twist with late knees over to the left side. If you're already wrapped up and that feels good, then you can let the knees fall to the left. It'll be a bit of a deeper spinal twist. But like I said, if you need to use the toes to shuffle the hips so that you're in the right spot, you know your body, what feels good. So just find your space. Breathe into the body, turn the gaze to that right hand. Three more breaths, yeah. 
Nice, slow, deep breaths now. Really slowing the nervous system down. Softening the chatter in the mind. Getting closer to our rest, our final Shavasana. And when you're ready, when you've taken that third breath, you can breathe in, start to come back to center on the back, unravel the legs, and bring the knees into the chest. Just hug them in for a breath. And then release both feet back down to the mat, hip distance apart. We'll come into the opposite side. So taking left ankle across the right knee. And then either staying here, pressing that left knee away from you or interlacing hands behind the right thigh. Draw the right knee in, push the left knee away. You might even use that left elbow to push the left knee out, depending on where your arms are. Breathe into that left outer hip, the glutes. Two more. One more breath. Release that right foot back down and then cross the left leg all the way over the right. Catch the feet if you can. If you can't catch the feet, just draw the knees towards the chest. Keep breathing, two more. One more breath. Release the feet, take the arms out wide. If you're doing standard, Spinal twist, unravel the legs, shuffle the hips. If you're keeping legs wrapped up, you can shuffle hips to the left a little, drop the knees over to the right. Turn the gaze over to that left hand. And breathe deep into the body for three more. Can you soften a little more through the body, through the legs, the heart? And when you're ready, start to bring yourself back to the mat, back to the center rather. Unravel the legs, bring those knees back into the chest and take a breath here. Yeah. Before we stretch out to our Shavasana, our rest, if there's any other poses you need here, happy baby, any inversions, feel free to use this time now to take whatever poses you need. Otherwise, you can just start to stretch the legs out. Relax the arms wherever they're comfortable. Add blankets or layers if you need it. And just start to get ready for your rest, your Shavasana. When you've arrived, in this Shavasana, in this rest pose, I invite you to close your eyes. Start to scan from the face, all the muscles around the eyes, the mouth, the cheeks. What else can you soften? Notice if there's any tension through the neck, the jaw, 
If the shoulders still hunch towards the ears, can you soften into the earth? Notice how the heart feels, how the breath feels as it flows in and out of the torso, the belly, the ribs, the chest, the back. And with every exhale, can you soften a little deeper, a little closer to the earth? Relax through the hips. Send breath into the lower back. And feel the arms left and right, the legs left and right. Softening away from the body. Releasing any shapes they were trying to hold just dropping into the earth. Allowing the whole body to sink, to soften, to loosen. Feeling the breath travel into all that space you've created all the openness through the energetic channels, through the muscles, through the bones. Allowing your whole self just to be for few short moments, fully at rest, at peace. And any time you notice those thoughts creeping in, just bringing yourself back to the body, back to the breath. Just continuing to breathe, to rest here for a few more moments. Slowly starting to deepen the breath. To bring some small awareness back to the body, the space around you. But 
feels good, stretch the arms or overhead all the way out and then roll out to the right side of the body of the mat when you're ready. Let's take a moment to let the body, the mind, the breath reintegrate. Just to thank yourself, thank the body for being this beautiful vessel that keeps you safe, that carries you through the world. And thank your mind, thank your determination to show up to practice tonight, to put yourself first and nourish yourself. And then when you're ready, find your way up to your seat. Let the eyes stay closed or soft. And bring hands together in front of the heart whenever you arrive in your seat. I'm gonna take three more cleansing breaths together. Just to really release whatever's left in the body, any more tension you might hold still. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Two more, inhale. Then release. One more breath. And lifting your hands up to your third eye now. As we humbly acknowledge this opportunity we have to share the practice of yoga, even when we can't share it in person, and still find a way to connect with one another and to connect with ourselves. So with love and gratitude, thank you for joining me. Namaste.